I have a horse that was diagnosed with anhydrosis. Aside from medication, is there anything I can do to help him? I once saw a horse like that at a barn I was at before, and since medication wouldn't help him much, the owner decided to start giving him half a beer every morning to help him sweat. Apparently it worked, but is that a good idea? What do you um, think? Can I answer the first part? Yeah. The last so, part first? Yeah, let's do a it. A lot of people f give their horse beer, and it's specifically Guinness beer. It's a popular choice. Dark beer for this condition, and we should say anhydrosis is the um, complete or partial ability, loss of the ability to sweat in response to simulation. So when it gets hot and you'd think this horse should be sweating because I'm working him or it's just 100 degrees in the shade and he's not sweating, that's anhydrosis. Now some, some people would think like, oh, you don't sweat, that means you don't stink, that means you don't need deodorant, and they think it's a good thing. For horses, it's not a good thing. No. Can you tell us why? Yeah, and you know what? When I looked these up, because this one got to the top of the list very quickly. Very quick, like 3,000 votes quick. Yeah. This was a popular so one. So I, I knew right away I was going to have to answer this one. <laughs> I looked up the species that sweat, because not every species sweats, right? So elephants, bats, sloths, lemurs, beavers, primates. I can find no relationship between those yeah, animals. So surprising. But the point is sweat, like you were saying. Oh, can you imagine it cools a sweaty you bat? That's worse than just a bat, is a sweaty, a sweaty bat. bat. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. These are funny, funny lists, but it's, it's to cool you off. So it gets warm, your, your core body temperature gets warm, and then there are signals in your brain and throughout the body that release um, sweat from glands, and then the evaporation of that sweat, that liquid, is what cools your body off and ma maintains your temperature. So the species that don't do that have to pant, like mm -hmm. a dog, mm -hmm. or wallow in mud, like a pig. They have other ways to cool their core body temperature off. Deodorant's looking pretty good right about now. Yeah. You know, Versus walking around panting. Wallow or wallowing in the mud. Yeah. Some of us do anyway. So the medication, I, there's not a medication for this, because we don't really know why horses lose their ability to sweat. And it can happen any age, uh, breed, gender. There doesn't seem to be any sort of predilection or a predisposition. It does happen when a horse comes from a northern climate, say Massachusetts, where we are, to Florida, where it's hot and humid, and they suddenly lose their ability to sweat. So some of the advice is to um, allow your horse to acclimate to a new environment gradually. Make sure they're conditioned before you get there. If you're going to provide a supplement not a medication for this condition, then you want to have it on board before they start getting those signals to sweat. And I don't normally mention a supplement, but there is one, it's called One AC, that has some really good research on it. It was done in Florida. That it, it, it contains things like tyrosine, which is amino acid, some B vitamins, cobalt, niacin, and other things, and it has been shown to help horses sweat. Now, beer has not been shown through research to help horses sweat, but anecdotally, you hear about it. So I felt like I had to bring some today. Okay. But. Can you explain the difference? Because I think this is something, it's a subtlety that if you don't work at Smart Pack, I think a lot of people just don't think about. The difference between a medication and a supplement. Sure, so when we talk about a medication, that's an FDA approved prescription medication that is approved for use in the species here, it's the horse. So there's been extensive research proving safety and efficacy, millions of dollars, seven to 10 years, it's a big deal. So when you see a Prescend, a GastroGuard, something like that, that's got years and years and lots of dollars behind it. That's why we call them Big Pharma. Mm -hmm. So 